Following the death of a 14-year-old girl last month, Land of Illusion releases findings from an independent safety investigation. Two News reporter Allison Gens is live in the studio with the follow-up on the investigators' recommendations. Brooke, Land of Illusion hired an independent health and safety inspector two days after 14-year-old Makira Jones drowned at their Aqua Adventures Park. The investigators' report shows the park goes above and beyond what's required for lake water parks. Land of Illusion hired Dan Wood with Industrial Safety Services of Ohio to look into their health and safety policies, procedures, and programs. Wood released these findings. My investigation revealed that Land of Illusion follows all applicable federal, state, and local laws and regulations, and in many areas has policies, practices, and procedures that exceed the requirements of those regulations. It continues saying Wood found no violations of law or regulations with respect to the tragic July 20th, 2020. Drowning accident. Park owner Brett Oakley released a statement in response to the findings. We've always prioritized the safety and have worked with the appropriate regulatory bodies to go above and beyond what is required. The report confirms that. We are challenging ourselves to go even further. Wood made four recommendations to Land of Illusion invest in an angel detection system to detect underwater emergencies, have side scan sonar and an underwater remote vehicle ready to deploy, employ trained underwater divers. Lastly, invest in a jet ski and drag boat for use in a rescue event. 14-year-old Makira Jones drowned at the Aqua Adventures Park on July 20th. The Butler County Sheriff says she fell off a jumping apparatus and was not wearing a life jacket. The sheriff says his office has since received multiple safety complaints about the park. Land of Illusion is cooperating with the investigation into the drowning. Land of Illusion's owner says they intend to advocate for more laws and safety regulations for parks like theirs to prevent an accident like this from happening again. We reached out to the park for an interview and were told they have no additional comments pending investigations by state and local officials. In the studio, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.